You know, because I was really excited, felt ready to go. Even had my wife's car clean. I mean, how how much how much ready could I, how much more ready could I be? And then they said, nah, you know, we're not going. So it was a bit of a you know, a bit of a kind of a letdown. Um, and uh, but now we're starting to ramp up, and I am starting to get excited about it again. It's an extraordinary opportunity. It's a lot of work, and uh, it's a responsibility uh, to go up there and, and do all this. But it is just an incredible experience. You're not supposed to move the stanchion, but you can do all your other work. All right. So go ahead. Okay. Just a little slow today. We're not sure what's going on with the race. You're moving slowly, but I guess it's got you full deflection. But you're doing fine. Mike, if you want to stop a second, I'll try to catch up. Getting close, right? Masa's going to lead a short exercise class while you did it. You can feel one torque increase or something going incorrectly. I left the flight notebook up. I'll get it. I'm going to see up to the right as you sit down. Those are the initial hazards. And from there on out, it's, it's buddies. And that's when the door hits the back. And as soon as that happens, when you get to where you're going. Once we have match rates with the telescope, the Commander Scott Altman and myself work together to basically hand over control. As soon as we're comfortable that the orbiter's rate has been matched to the telescope and the telescope looks to me like it's stable and not moving, um, then I take the robotic arm, the shuttle's robotic arm, and I reach out and grab the telescope. And there is a, a grapple fixture, a pin basically, on the side of the telescope that we use. Uh, uh, the robotic arm grabs onto that. Once we have a good capture of the telescope, I then maneuver the robotic arm um, to install the telescope into a berthing mechanism at the back end of the shuttle payload bay. And uh, once we have uh, installed the telescope in that berthing mechanism, we latch it down and I can release the uh, shuttle's robotic arm. Well, as I understand the plan for reboost, um, after the last EVA, the fifth EVA, we'll conduct the reboost, uh, set up the, for the reboost that evening, and then the next morning, um, we'll use the robotic arm to grapple the telescope in its berthing mechanism, and then we'll move it out of that berthing mechanism and away from the orbiter. And once I release the telescope, just very smoothly back away from it, then the commander will take control of the orbiter and back the orbiter away from the telescope. And then we do a series of burns to get farther away from it. Now, in case something doesn't go the way we planned or we can't release it or the telescope isn't operating as we expect it to, we have two of our crew members, uh, spacewalking crew members, ready to go out the door to do a contingency EVA to help with that process. How was it? <laughs> well, I'm out. There you go. Take your helmet off. Thank you. Put a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Once we're um, yeah. inside so we're of it, or, or we want to close to 100. Feet. Here, remember to the CG. Yeah. And well, so is HHL. I want to put a filter or anything. I thought he was talking about my head. He was going to bump. I was going to say, that's all right. I didn't want to. Oh, okay. He'd probably break his camera. Oh,
Atlantis' Hubble crew arrives at NASA's Kennedy Space Center for launch. Space Shuttle Atlantis' seven-member crew arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, Florida, on Friday, May 8th, for its STS-125 mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. The crew members are Commander Scott Altman, Pilot Greg Johnson, and Mission Specialists John Grunsfeld, Mike Massimino, Megan MacArthur, Andrew Foistel, and Michael Good. Atlantis is scheduled to launch at 2.01 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on May 11th. The 11-day mission will include five spacewalks to refurbish Hubble with state-of-the-art science instruments designed to improve the telescope's discovery capabilities by up to seven.